Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jamie. I have finally finished the bar exam, and uh, it was pretty crazy. Um, I ended up going and staying in a hotel uh, for a couple of days, so I'd be able to take it. And uh, I was taking it with like 3,500 other people, and it's a lot to take in. Uh, I actually I didn't go to the bathroom until the last section, and there's the one I took. There's four sections. And um, I got to just stand out and just look at everybody. And there's like hundreds of tables, two to a table. And it's just incredible to see in this arena, all these people taking a test at once. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, all I'd say is that you got to just do the cor like a course and do all the course. You know what I mean? Just it takes like eight, nine, ten weeks to study and you just have to be dedicated. And if you do it, I didn't think it was too bad. Uh, we'll see how my <laughs> results come back, but I mean, you know, you have to study every day and you have to just keep doing practice questions. I thought practice questions were the most helpful, especially practice questions that um, give you feedback and let you know what the right answer is and the reasoning. And Themis did that pretty well, so I was happy with that part. But man, the state multiple choice questions, that they're just terrible. <laughs> oh man, so I mean, yeah, if you're uh, going to be taking the bar, all I have to say is... Um, you know, maybe take a week off after you graduate to have some fun time, but then just go straight to like studying. You don't have to go crazy. I mean, I didn't, you know, I still had fun and like relaxed. I mean, I probably only studied like and studied like an average of four to five hours a day at most um, over nine weeks. You know, I mean, could have studied more, but honestly, I mean, you go crazy if you don't. It's e I think it's a lot easier if you just start early and you know, take a couple hours a day and just have a healthy otherwise life. And then when it gets to like the last, you know, couple weeks and really kind of push hard and get down studying. Um, but uh, each morning before the exam, uh, I got up a little early. Uh, exam was, I had to get there at like eight-ish or so and got up at six. Um, I, I didn't eat anything crazy. I had like half a bottle of Boost and a bag of pretzels. And... Um, you know, studied a little bit before, which I like doing. I don't know that it helped me much terribly. I mean, it could have helped with home points, but overall, you know, it really is like when it comes to the day, like you need to keep studying. But for me, like the mechanics of like studying and just keeping the information fresh helps. Um, but there were some people who I watched who are like, had, they had like three th things, of uh, alcohol plus a whole bunch of soda and stuff like that. And People are having a good time still, even just before the exam. I know one person who <laughs> went to go see Batman <laughs> the night before the second uh, day of the test. I was pretty jealous because I really ha I haven't seen Batman or Spider Man yet. Yeah, that's how bad it's been. I haven't seen that. Um, but yeah, my advice is really just study well those first couple of weeks. You don't want uh, the first time you take it over the course of you know eight ten weeks. Because you don't want to have to retake that. You don't want to have to retake, you know, 12 hours of uh, exams. And it wasn't like, the exams aren't like, oh my gosh, like it's so crazy or hard. It's just long. You have to sit there and, you know, if your mind wanders easily, it's going to suck. Or if you're more of a social person, it's going to suck. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you finish it. So it's it's all about what you did beforehand. You know, if as long as you were diligent, it shouldn't be too bad. As long as you were diligent, you know, eight, nine, ten weeks, you know, not working, not really doing much else. I mean, I, I worked a little bit here and there, like, because I do side gigs, but, you know, nothing where it really takes your full time. I overheard a woman who was um, taking it for a third time because she was a full-time worker and kids, and I'm just like, nah, I, that's not for me. So, glad to be done, glad to be back. That's why I've been away for so long, and if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. I'm going to be launching some big things soon. Uh, especially once I get my uh, official uh, papers back and score and hopefully I passed and uh, get sworn in, I definitely am going to start doing some big things, especially with teaching people about their rights, um, doing things with uh, helping people know what you know to do in certain types of situations, especially police and things like that. So um, hopefully stay tuned and I'll let you know when the launch of all that good stuff is. All right, in the meantime, take care, guys, and talk to you later.